Damn, I'ma still get my motherfucking message too with your raggedy dog mouth. Roach face ass, girl, you a two dollar thrift the ass, dirty flip flop wearing hoe who sit on the motherfucking projects in apartment number seventy six, bitch, and eat snow crab legs all day off a motherfucking food stamp card. That's the clown. Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain where there are no more fuck ups to shut. Sir, are, 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 are you listening to me, sir? Sir, I'm talking to you. Sir, sir, are you? Yo, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to There's No Romance Without Finance, Stallings. All right, season one, episode three, and this is for the Virgos. Hey, this is for my Virgos. Dum, dum, dum. This is for my Virgos. Dun, 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 dun. This is for my Virgos. D I R G O. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. I hope y'all like that little intro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, welcome to There's No Romance Without Finance. This is season one, episode three. So, um, this I'm going to do a little twist. I'm going to do a lean new thing. All right. So, first, we're going to do the. um. First, we're gonna do the. Uh, let me take this fan off. I don't know if it's causing too much noise. All right. So first, we're gonna do uh, the financial portion, and then I'm going to um, also do the oracle reading uh, afterwards. Okay. So this is the first half. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Straightforward message. Um, I actually <clears throat> did this reading on July 19th, 2023, at 11:47 p.m. Pacific Standard Time last night. All right, so I already had written down my notes from the reading. Okay, so uh, let's start off with the uh, first card, which is credit repair, followed by the follow up <laughs> card. Okay, so immediately what I got off of this is debt solutions. Okay, um, the main theme of this reading, Virgo, is is debts, debts paid, and then it's kind of like it's it's all surrounded around debt solutions, like clearing something up. Okay, so. And this could go two ways, right? So you guys may be seeing a credit repair uh, specialist or you guys are doing your own credit repair, doing your own research, being self-taught. That's what's up, Virgos. All right. So you may have a follow-up with a credit repair specialist or you may have a follow-up uh, due to like a job interview or uh, some type of audit or whatever because we're also getting a performance evaluation uh, card that we'll discuss later. Okay. So um, debt solutions, uh, increased credit score. You guys may notice that your credit score is a lot higher than what you think it is. Okay. Follow-up interviews for uh, follow-up up interviews for appointments or maybe some type of uh, loans or grants that you're trying to get scholarships uh, for my uh, Virgos that are students okay so appointments all right you're also going to get some type of news some type of news that's going that is going to um, help you okay uh, mail email and call something that you may have applied for okay in regards to uh, credit debt solutions and in regards to employment and business okay Next, we have the creativity card. All right, this talks about a creative project, ideas, planning. You see the light bulb there. I feel like sometimes you guys like to go around the water. Spirit is telling you guys to like um, go around water, lakes, or whatever. You can live near a lake, live in a coastal town. All right, live by the beach, right by the beach. All right, you can uh, like to take long strolls, and that's where you get all your ideas. So going around nature, you can get a lot of downloads, a lot of ideas. All right, so go around water and meditate, and you will receive a lot of downloads and ideas. All right, this is followed by the creativity card. Um, I mean, sorry, the creativity card is followed <laughs> by the payday a card. That's awesome. Okay, so y'all getting paid this Friday. Just got paid Friday night. Okay. So um, what I'm getting off of these two cards is that your creativity is going to bring you the pay. You know what I'm saying? You're create to pay. That's what I'm getting. All right. So you guys might be getting some type of uh, financial returns from something that you did. It could be royalties from a, a book or something like that. You could be getting royalties. I'm getting you could be getting um, some type of um, uh Anything that's in regards to creativity, something that you may have did, uh, projects that you might not have finished, you be, you're able to finish them and finally get paid off of it. Some, somehow people are going to want your work. Okay, Virgo. All right. So creativity leads to more money. All right. We also, um, this is a second picture, but um, 
the first picture I took for the Virgo reading, I was missing one card, uh, which is shopping and payday. So I'm definitely getting you guys doing a lot of shopping. And then it's followed by the overspending card. Okay. If you guys are, you guys may have a spouse um, or a significant other or somebody that you are close with that likes to overspend. Okay. This can cause a lot of problems, a lot of issues and shit like that. All right. So just be mindful of what you need to take care of when that payday comes. All right. So overspending. Okay. Um, be sure to make uh, plans, you know, budget everything. You guys already know what to do. So spirit saying that you're going into the right direction. All right. Um, pretty plain and simple right there you, you're moving in the right direction you guys are practicing better money management i feel like honestly your creative um projects your creativity the things that you do you guys may create content you guys may uh be into the arts in some kind of way but i feel like you guys are actually getting money maybe you guys are getting royalty from music movies books etc etc all right performance evaluation i feel like some of you guys are going to it's, this has something to do with like audits assessments all right some of you guys may have exams state board exams uh, certifications bar exams some of you guys may be getting a certification or renewing a certification all right now now we come to the part where it says debts and then debts paid so interesting because debts when i was when i got the debt card I was shuffling and out and in my mind I said debts paid and that was the next card that come out and immediately I it reminded me of that mantra ching 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 goes the money tree you know and how he says debts 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 all my debts is paid all right so evaluation of debt so all right y'all so now we're going to segue into the other part of this reading which is an oracle okay guys so this is what i'm getting here um off the first three cards okay so we have the seventh house relationship we also have the series the nurture card in a reverse yikes and the second house so immediately what i get off of that you guys is that some of y'all had to end a relationship because that's the 45 on the seventh house that's nine some of y'all had to uh, close out a karmic relationship or uh, relationships um or whatever and it shows that you're not nurturing any relationship that you're more so focused on the second house you're more so focused on the resources okay you may have found a leak in 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 depletion of your uh resources okay but i do see uh, uh stability with the four right there balance stability reciprocity so getting returns on investments coins okay as we see on the card there all right i'm seeing a lot of flowers here too the seventh house as well as uh the series car even though it's in reverse <laughs> and the second house so i'm just getting verbal that you guys are are uh, you guys have severed um all distracting relationships all karmic distraction uh type of relationships you guys have uh, kind of ended that okay or you guys are putting it on the back burner e either way you guys are more focused on your second house more focused on your resources okay we got the seventh house here all right the seventh zodiac sign is what libra so some of you guys may have uh left this uh, relationship because it was imbalanced okay everything this person whoever that you guys was dealing with before the group of people that you're dealing with were um knocking you off of your square virgo okay keeping you unbalanced okay uh whatever that you were making they were depleting your resources okay so you had to let them go in order to to gain a hold back on things okay um so the seventh sign is uh, libra so some of y'all could have libra and in the seventh house okay so when you have libra in the seventh house obviously you uh crave uh balance reciprocity or reciprocity excuse me reciprocity okay reciprocity all uh, right you guys you know uh, uh, equal give and take type thing okay uh, e uh, equal thing okay so maybe you weren't getting that that person wasn't nurturing you we got the series card in the reverse 11 all right so this wasn't a, a relationship that allowed you to heal okay this wasn't an environment or relationship that allowed allowed you to heal okay so there wasn't no uh, balance all right so you guys dropped that and then you decided to just focus more on your on your on your resources on on finances and shit like that okay all right so the next card is the descendant card and um with the descendant card here it's showing how you're looking at everybody not like the ascendant where how every, the world views you but how you're viewing the world okay we have the it says invitation so you're uh really discriminatory about who you're going to invite okay you're not even actually not putting any mind into it uh it's next next to it is the review so i'm kind of getting this energy where people want you to backtrack all the time people want you to return people want you like you keep moving forward virgo and people want you to turn around and look and, and wait for them to catch up with you and um i feel like you guys are and then also with the retrograde energies like people trying to pull you back people trying to pull you back your past people of the past trying to pull you back okay so we have the uh, one plus five six okay yeah past life stuff people trying to pull you back and shit like that all right so that's what i'm getting with the invitation followed by the review card all right 
people are uh, like how you, how you're looking at people and and the realization that you guys are coming coming to is telling you that people are trying to trying to pull you back you're trying to move forward and they want you to turn around look all right it's followed by the um the neptune okay the visions card okay so you guys have already been getting uh, downloads, dreams, signs, and synchronicities, and all that stuff, letting you know about these type of people that you may have invited. Maybe you guys are probably thinking back and reflecting on people that you had let that you have allowed in, or you guys. Are, and then with the descendant card, you guys are figuring out what's the best relationship. If anybody is going to be in your face, this is what it's got to be. All right. So just reviewing your terms and conditions of what you would allow what you would want around you all right but i feel like with the neptune card you guys are um you're uh psychically very sensitive at this time virgo so really be uh really be mindful of who you share your energy with I, i'm pretty sure you guys know that like you know uh, we got the eight so this is hidden visions okay hidden visions hidden ideas hidden downloads and things like that you uh, are a keeper of many secrets virgo and you know a lot of things okay you're very spiritually gifted you know a lot of things I'm also getting Neptune in the eighth house uh, type energy, uh, Neptune in the first house as well. All right. Um, so, yeah, you guys are the keeper of many secrets. You guys know a lot. Sometimes y'all know a little too much or whatever. I'm just getting that you guys are very uh, psychically sensitive and you guys pick up on everything, especially in your community, because it's followed by the 11th house, which is the community card. All right. We have the 13th right here. I feel like you guys are witnessing karma take place within your respective communities. OK, um, we have the 13th. That's karma. That's Scorpio. Some of y'all may have Scorpio in the 11th house. OK, so when you have that type of placement, you guys are really good for seeking out uh, really good at uh, checking out group dynamics okay you look beyond the surface you check out the group dynamics and I feel like what you guys have uh, stumbled upon is um, the fact that a lot of people are catching a lot of karma okay a lot of people are catching a lot of uh, karma a lot of people are realizing that you are karma personified actually Virgo all right we have the uh, mercury in a reverse here uh, I, I'm I think we're having some type of no it's on the, I don't know if we're having a mercury retrograde coming soon we we might I'm, I'm not sure don't quote me on that but uh, what I'm getting from this uh, energy here with the mercury card in a reverse here all right this talks about either uh, mismanagement of messages delayed messages or like uh, arguing and bickering back and forth or somebody just not saying nothing at all okay so I feel like that's what it is for you guys okay um, there's a lot of miscommunication here with the messages okay you can find yourself being annoyed a little irritated okay uh, of, of people sending mis mixed messages here so there's a lot of mixed messages and karma going on in your my bad, the audio cut off, but you guys are witnessing a lot of karma, okay, a lot of clashes of, of different types of philosophies, so, uh, you know, with this Mercury card here in the reverse here, right, so two opposing sides, because two right there, so it's like people, you see how they have the snake, one snake is black, one snake is white, it's like, it's like a, a, a clash of philosophies, I think I covered that in a reading about clashes against false leaders and shit like that, um, that last Mercury retrograde we had, check out that reading when you get the chance, okay, because it talks about clashes with false leaders and people going against each other because of certain philosophies so that's what's going on in the community right now is you know left hand path versus right hand path versus middle path uh you know this uh abrahamic religion versus spirituality this versus this everybody is just worried about what the fuck everybody else is doing so it, it causes a lot of um you know um mixed messages and a lot of uh, bickering and back and forth or just uh, I'm getting an energy of some of you guys just not really saying anything um, at all you guys are just sitting back and just watching people have at it okay <laughs> all right you're seeing a lot of karma go down okay all right and the last two cards uh, I actually meant to only pull out one card which is the conjunction okay but um, this one the Chiron card uh, heel was uh, creeping up behind I was like oh okay so that's why I have it laid out right there okay so um the conjunction card this is six this is healing okay so this is like uh oh spirit gave me a download you will find of a kind that has been in search of you okay that type of thing okay you see like the um well you can't see it but the conjunction card shows a bunch of uh i don't know what they are quails one of them yeah one of them birds you're uh flying and shit you know going towards uh, you've got the orange cards. This is embracing each other, alliance, conjunction. Okay, all right, healing. So you're kind of gonna be, end up finding other people that are like you, people that went through the same exact things as you. Okay, uh, a healing alliance. We have alliance. We have Chiron heal, and we have two and the eight. That is the beginning. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, something that is going to be coming in the near future for you guys. I feel like you guys are going to have the perfect summer. Um, 
you guys are going to be able to make alliance with other healers okay you might want to see what your chiron is okay and just check your birth chart and see what if you have any like conjunction that has to do with chiron okay uh, let's see what else is going on here and then lastly you notice how the mercury has the black and white and they're intertwined and then you look at the chiron card and you see also the snakes which symbolizes wisdom two different types two different schools of thought okay but they're still intertwined with each other so that's what people need to realize right uh everybody's going to have their own set of beliefs everybody's going to move move the same way not everybody's going to agree upon everything okay as long as we all reach the same destination you might take the freeway somebody might take the long way somebody might find a shortcut but as long as we reach the destination who gives a flying fuck okay Okay. All right. We're talking about healing differences. Okay. With this Chiron card. It's Virgo, you are essentially prioritizing your healing and your finances and anything else is unmotherfucking civilized. And I ain't got a motherfucking problem with it. Love y'all Virgos. Kisses and motherfucking hugs. Mwah. Bye y'all.